Welcome back, my young psychology friends. Today, we are going to learn about your Unit 5 project. But wait, we're not, because you don't have a Unit 5 project. Woohoo! you baby say. Now, before you get excited, thinking you're getting a, a Christmas break, a, a holiday break from, from doing a unit project, there is a bit of a catch. While you're not doing a Unit 5 project, you are preparing for your Unit 6 project. The Unit 6 project is a pretty big one. You are going to be writing a newsletter covering different social psychology issues that apply to teenagers. Now, it's kind of a big project, which is why you get two units to work on it. You get to work on Unit 5 and Unit 6. For this unit, you're simply focusing on getting prepared. You're studying things that you might want to write about. You're learning about newsletters. It's all about getting ready to physically start writing that newsletter. So don't stress. Don't sit there and think, oh, my goodness, I don't know how to do that. I don't know how to make a newsletter. <sighs> Breathe, because that's what this unit is for, is to get you ready. This unit is a great time to reach out and ask questions if you're confused about anything, to start doing some research on your own on best ways to make newsletters. But don't stress. Just take time to work hard and, and go through all the steps. So I just wanted to show you right here in Flip Switch what – it has you specifically doing to get ready to write your newsletters. So here's your instructions. It says, this unit's project areas include activities that will help you prepare for the project you will submit in unit six. This unit will just focus on preparing you for project six. You will not actually submit anything in this unit. Remember, you're not turning anything in for the project in this unit. For the unit six project, you'll be creating a newsletter with articles that show how certain principles of social psychology apply to teenagers. Beginning with this project activity, you will make notes of the subjects throughout this unit that you find especially interesting. When you create your Unit 6 newsletter, you can research those interesting ideas as the basis for articles. Down here, underneath that, there is a form that you can download to your computer, or you can even print it out if you're one of those people that likes to physically write on stuff. But you're, as you go through the different lessons, you're going to write out ideas that stick to stick out to you, things that interest you, things that you care about, right? Because you don't want to write a newsletter about things that you find boring or things that are interesting. You want to pick things that are exciting to you. So in each lesson, you're going to pull out this document or pull out the paper if you print it off and write down ideas. Now, you're going to have to have some discipline here because you're not turning this paper in. It's strictly there to help you. With that being said, I really encourage you to to follow through and to do this. It'll make writing the newsletter a lot easier for you. So you'll fill this out for each of the each of the things and write down ideas of what might be a good topic for one of the articles in your newsletter as you go along. Pretty straightforward, right? Not too hard. Again, I don't want this to be a stressful unit for you, just a time to prepare. Um, then use the form to make notes, either in the form or on paper of the topics you found most interesting in lesson 21. Look particularly for issues you might want to explore further or that seemed especially meaningful to your life. So for the most part, that's all you're doing this unit for the project. You're just going through and getting ideas for the newsletter. Now, on some of the other units, or I'm sorry, some of the other lessons, it does give a few other things that you can do to prepare. For instance, in the, in the next one, it gives you a history of newsletters. You can read this article and learn why we have newsletters, how they're beneficial to different different industries and whatnot. Again, look, not very long at all, just something to, to read through and get ideas from. I'll show you a couple more here so you get kind of an idea. And this is good because it gives you just a quick walk through a little bit of flip switch. We'll go down to lesson 23 and we'll show you which one that one has. Sometimes my computer's a little slow at night because the whole neighborhood must be getting on their social media or something. We'll go down to project five newsletter preparation and it will open up in just a second, and I will show you just what it has. Time like these, I wish we had a, a live class, because then you could you could tell me your favorite jokes while we're waiting for this to load. So if any of you have favorite jokes, go ahead and send them to me. Then it'll feel like, feel like it's a live class. But all right, so this one for Lesson 23 for the Project 5 newsletter preparation, it says, in this project activity, you will look at ideas for presenting content newsletter. Here's some, here are some general tips for creating a newsletter. Keep content brief and to the point. Use a concise writing style. Generally use short sentences and a conversational tone. Take about 10 minutes to do a brief internet search on how to create a newsletter or tips for writing a newsletter. Then use the following instructions to record what you find. And then it tells you down here, you'll go on your note taking skills and you'll write down or write down some things that, that you find 
um, and that you found helpful. So again, it's it's a very straightforward unit for you. Time to prepare and get ready. And if you'd like to kind of skip ahead and see a little bit more about the newsletter, then definitely go go for it. But I did want to let you know one thing. I know some people may not be very interested in writing newsletters, and I wanted to give you an option. If you think that there's a better way for you to present this information, or if there's something else that you would like to try, then let me know. Say, you know, Mrs. Gilling, I thought about it, and instead of writing a newsletter, can I make a movie, or can I do a scrapbook? Um, something. There's something else that that seems interesting to you, or something that you think would would help you to learn the information more or to display it. Then I'm more than willing to to hear what you have and give you approval to do that. So again, if you want to do the newsletter, that's awesome. I think it's a pretty fun activity. It's a good learning opportunity, something that if you learn to write newsletters now, it could help you in a future career, especially if you go into a psychology field or journalism or communications, anything along those lines. But if you have an idea of another project you would like to do that would still showcase this information, then I am open to those suggestions. So send me an email or give me a call and we can talk about it and just make sure to let me know so I can give you the go ahead. If you just do it on your own, um, then I'm not sure you're meeting the requirements. So please let me know ahead of time if you'd like to do something different. Bring an idea to me. Don't just say, oh, I want to do something different. What can I do? Tell me what you want to do. And then I can improve from there. So I'm fine with everyone. If you want to do the newsletter, great. If you have a different idea, let me know. But I did want to give you a little bit of freedom on this one. Please, after watching this video, go to our Google Classroom. It's right. I pulled it up here for you to see. And go cl complete the Unit 5 video assignment. It'll take you maybe two minutes and it'll get you credit for watching this video. I really appreciate you taking the time to watch them because it, it helps you a lot on your projects to get the guidelines there and I spent some time making it, so I feel grateful when you watch them. So please, please take those, uh, take that assignment seriously and go into the Google Classroom and do that and let me know if you have any questions about newsletters and preparing to, to write them or if you have any questions about social psychology. It's actually one of my favorite psychology aspects to learn about. I really love that class in college. So if you have any questions, feel free to ask. I, I would love to discuss it with you. But in the meantime, great luck. And I'm pretty sure we're coming up on the holiday break. So enjoy your break and, and have some fun with your family and friends. Okay? We will talk to you next time. Bye-bye.